Welcome back. In this episode, we're going to cover sessions and how you can utilize them to group certain swings together and gather more insight. Let's go ahead and get started. To start a session, let's head to the dashboard. At the top, you'll see Start Session, and we'll be able to give this a title. Since we're hitting in the cage right now, let's go ahead and label it Cage Swings. Once I take the swings, in the same spot, you'll find Stop Session. Now we have a group of swings that were found and taken in the cage. Let's go ahead and start a second session as we head to the field to hit. We'll call this session BP on the field. Now when I take these swings and stop that session, I'll have two unique groups. Now I can compare do my swings in the cage match the swings that I have on the field. Let's check it out. The sessions we capture will be found in the progress tab. Let's take a look at the first session of our swings in the cages. When we tap on that session, we'll get a session report. This is the group of swings we took while we're in the cages. You'll see graphs along with your low, average, and high, along with each individual swing. Let's take a look at the second session of our swings on the field. Here we have the same session report, but with different averages and the swings we took on the field. This is hugely helpful to compare, hey, did my drill from before and after improve my swing or my metrics? Same thing, does my swing in the cages translate to my swing on the field or eventually into the game? This is how we can combine sessions as well as offline swings and see if our swing is consistent in different environments. Check out our next episode where we'll show you how to train around the on-plane metric, what it is, and how to improve. We'll see you there.